Well, how about we do a little uh, tip of the week, as Brian suggested. Does anybody have a, a tip, a Worldwide Stock Car Chat tip of the week they'd like to have on this chat? If so, raise your virtual hand or wave your real hand in front of the screen, and I'll let you do a, a tip of the week. If not, I will just come up with one off the top of my head. And because I didn't get any emails or, or messages or you know forum posts or anything volunteering, I didn't ask in the in the various places that I post. So basically, I'm relying on people who were here at the time or have seen the video to voluntarily offer a tip of the week. Seeing nobody raising their virtual or real hand, I will do a tip of the week. <clears throat> and this comes from, uh, I mean, years and years of this same question being asked over and over, but also, you know, like this morning or last night, the same question was asked, which is the age old question of, can I have both the digital power base and the analog power base in my layout at the same time? The answer is no. I will be, I will go into more detail. Most people get into this question because they have digital or started with digital and then, then they bought some analog cars and they don't want to chip the cars or they've had analog for a while and they're, and they're adding digital to their track and, you know, want to do both. Basically you want to do both things. And the easiest thing to do if you have plastic track, obviously, is to have the analog power base there and the digital power base there and only plug one in, you know, whichever one you want to use. You can't do that because when you plug in the analog power base, even if the digital one is completely disconnected, no wires plugged into it of any kind, when you power the analog power base up, that analog power is a circuit and the digital power base is connected to that circuit. And when that analog power travels around the track and through your car, it'll go right back up into the digital power base. And those electronics are not usually designed to have analog power going back up into its output to the track, which is what's going to happen if you do that. So I don't care what system you're talking about, Carrera, Scalextric, SCX Digital, Ninco Digital, you know, whatever. Don't ever do that because you will most likely damage your power base. If you don't, good for you, but it's probably gonna happen sooner or later, so don't do that. Now, if you want to have both analog and digital functionality on your track, and you don't have a power base such as the Scalextric, uh, the most recent two uh, six car power base from Scalextric Digital have an analog mode, if your base doesn't do that, then your two options are take out the digital power base and put in the analog power base when you wanna do analog, and vice versa when you want to go back to digital or start doing some wiring when and basically what you do is you have your analog power base and your digital power base not in your track or at least not electrically connected to your track and then you have those outputs going to a switch and then that switch goes to your track so for a two lane track you would have a four pole double throw switch so you have four wires from the analog base going to one side of the switch, four wires from the digital base going to the other side of the switch, and four wires from the center going to the actual track. That way when it's clicked to one side, the power cannot go through to the other side. So you'll never have to worry about power going to where it shouldn't go. Not everybody is okay doing that. So there are some options like Tech Slots is a company that offers a pre-modified control unit for Carrera Digital Power, uh, Carrera Digital users to have an analog functionality in their track. <clears throat> analog powered by digital uh, control units isn't always the best. And so a lot of people prefer to have pure analog, which is what I've done to my track here. I've, I've wired in club style uh, controller connectors and pure DC power, and I flip a switch when I do analog mode. Uh, so that was the long-winded explanation for why you should never have an analog and digital power base in your track at the same time. This applies to all kinds of digital bases. Don't do it. <laughs>